special guest this week in Gran Turismo 7 Dirty Driving of the Week. Do you know who it is yet? Well, we're going to find out very soon. So keep your thoughts coming in the comments of this video and keep your submissions coming as well because we are back. Yes, you know you want to see this. It's Gran Turismo 7 Dirty Driving of the Week and you, you are the judge. Right, let's start off here. Where are we going to be? Ah, oh, here it is. It is Kimi Velocini. Off the bat. So here we are, Lager Majuri. Um, and... Uh, Oh, he's got loads of stuff on, on the car now, and he's taking out um, the Turkish right there. So what's Kimmy up to this time? Oh, a lot of blocking, a lot of weaving. Oh, he's put two people into the pits there. He's put two in one, and there goes the third one. There's the Audi. So I think this is sort of peak Kimmy Velocini, isn't it? Alan Partridge is on the auto count there, also in this hand GTR. And there's a Z4. What's Kimmy going to do now? He might want to disrupt ahead and behind him. He's going to try and disrupt ahead of him. Watch out, Alan Partridge. Oh, he's got a pump like a traction engine there. He's in third place. He, he's clearly in the lobby that, you know, he should be in a higher lobby than this. So he's causing absolute carnage. Takes that super. Oh, is he going to get taken out? No, he's got the counter steer on, which will save him. And now side by side again, I believe, with the Turkish driver in the Genesis. Oh, puts him into the wall. Absolutely barricade. Oh, <laughs> taste of your own medicine, Kimmy. In the barrier. What do we think about that? What do we think? Is that fair fun and games when you're driving with Kimmy? There he goes, turns around the Z4. He probably didn't have Count Steer on. And um, what's going to happen here? Oh, look at the... Oh, my word. Brave. And it was enough to put Kimmy off. It wasn't a direct hit, but it was destabilizing as he reverses out. Here he is again, the South African YouTuber, it looks like, with a three-second penalty. He's lost his rag. Has Kimmy won in that? Oh, who's this? Vili Kelicini. Kimi Velocini's old account puts a stick into the sand here at Laguna Seca in Group 4 machinery. There is a Frenchman. Um, oh, and the Silvio has gone wide all the way off in the desert. Is someone going to take out? But, oh, no, 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 no. Another Silvia. It's the Jaguar for Kimi this time around. You know, normally the question is, is it dirty driving or not? That is clearly dirty driving. Here is Vili again at Grand Valley Speedway, going to take out the Alfa Romeo, so he's dealt with that one. And now surely he's going to go after the leader in WRX, but it looks like the tables have turned here. El Barbudo might be trying to take out Kimi as there's two very ones going head to head. There's a military spec WRX. There's absolute carnage here. Are people going to be coming for Kimi? Let's see. Here again is an Alfa Romeo on the outside. Oh, a bit of a crunch into the wall. Is someone going to go deep? No, he gets away with it. So, Kimi Velocini to Kimi Raikkonen in this race on the German account. As Origa, is that dirty driving? Difficult to know on that angle. Let's see as Kimi Raikkonen this time is up the inside. Oh, he's on the brakes here. I mean, look how many assists he's got. He's got TC stability and counter assist. I, I just wonder if he's actually just struggling here. Guys, you've got to let me know in the comments about this one because this is not that clear cut. I guess three second penalty. And uh, YC here in the uh, movie spec GTR. Have I mentioned that I'm in the Gran Turismo movie and now I'm doing Dirty Driving the Week? What a weird turn of events as he pushes someone off there. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a mess. Turn one into Lagos. That's got to be dirty. It's either dirty or, or reckless enough to, to have the equivalent sort of consequence, if that makes sense. So you ask a lot here, it's a US only lobby at Daytona. And uh, that's just absolute filth. What is going on in this lobby? I mean, this is a mat. Has this been sped up? It looks like it's been sped up, but I'm looking at the time. It hasn't been. These must be incredibly souped up. Super is <laughs> impossible. It's like a cartoon movie. So I don't know if this is dirty or it's just impossible to drive at this speed. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say this is not dirty. I'm going to say fair play, lads, for whatever league you're doing here. It looks great. Um, and how he's kept that in a straight line without any CSA, I do not know. It's just like one of those old um, stop-motion movies, doesn't it? Like Jason and the Argonauts. It's got that sort of feel to it. Back here at Brands Hatch, um, the man with no name is ahead of us. Side by side. What's going to happen here be between the Supra from Thailand and the Sylvia from Australia? Bit of side to side. Diff oh, top cat coming through. I have to say, this I'm not sure this is dirty per se. It just looks kind of a little bit unsure. 
Um, but a, a lot to dive into in today's episode, so let me know what you think in the comments. Kimi Villachini looks to have an alt account as well, which is quite worrying. So we'll have to keep tabs on that and check he's not getting around the system. I hope you enjoyed it. More videos here, and I'll see you. I'll see you next time.